Service learning is this great opportunity to integrate the ideas of civic engagement with uh, the actual course and the, the learning objectives of the course. I love the idea of service learning because it forces in a really great way students to get out of their comfort zones and into a more global uh, awareness. So the way I do this in my class is I ask my students to pick a social issue to be the focus of their semester. Um, so some pick homelessness, some pick the international water crisis or urban decay uh, or uh, mentoring youth and different issues that really resonate with them. And that, that's really important. I ask them to pick something that they care about. Uh, and then I ask them to go out and find an organization that's already doing those kinds of great things um, around Houston. And I've got a list of for them to, to pick from that I have relationships with and uh, have had good experiences. Um, but I always challenge them to try to go out and find even newer places so that we can keep expanding this list and keep helping more and more people. Uh, and over the course of the semester, I ask them to write a series of four papers where they integrate some experience that they're having at their site with some social psychological theory. So some of them talk about how uh, social psych theory can totally explain where, where this issue arose from or how social psych could help us to alleviate this problem if we used it in that way. And I really ask them to expand the way they think so that they can not only uh, see the world, but they can see the class and the world together. Uh, I've had great, great experiences with this. Every semester I have students that come up to me and they talk to me about how they don't want to do this project and I shouldn't force them to do this. And then every semester it, it's those students that come up at the end and they, they just say thank you that I want to keep working with this organization. And that, that's really the point for me is to try to best show a way for them to be a global um, citizen while still being in Houston and having this effect that's not only going to transform their lives, but can transform the lives of the people around them. So that's really what I love about service learning. I believe the students need to use what they are learning in their classes to be able to assist the community. We need to also faculty develop our courses so that keeping in mind that whatever the students are learning they can turn immediately around and use it to solve a problem in the community. Specifically, I teach the class uh, uh, that has to do with curriculum. In this class, is, the, the, the class is housed um, in one elementary school in HISD. And what we do there, the students are teaching scientific investigation skills to children. This is a requirement for them to be valuable teachers. So that we are impacting the school because as we are benefiting with that, the students have an, a lab where they go and they apply what I'm teaching them. We also are preparing the, the children for the STEM fields, which is a critical area and where minorities really are needing to be increase the numbers of minority. At the same time, we are uh, work, working with the children there so that not only that they learn about science and math, they also learn about uh, eventually coming to the university because they are seeing our students over there and our students are talking about the kind of things that they do. And another thing that I do, I tailor the curriculum so that the students also uh, learn how to solve problems that we are facing with uh, in our community. For instance, obesity. We have a problem with obesity in children. Serving learning is the way to go because it made the classes that we are teaching at the university more meaningful and the students turn around and have a practical application of it. Hi, my name is Dr. Poonam Gulati. I'm in the Department of Natural Sciences and I've been engaged in service learning for the last three years and most of my service learning occurs in my microbiology classes and the class that I found to be the best to carry out my project is um, an introductory microbiology class for microbiology majors and uh, pre-med, pre-dent type of students 
and this is general microbiology. And the project that we do is curricular because the students are going to use what they're learning in microbiology and then apply it to creating um, projects, scientific projects for children in the elementary schools. And the school that we um, work with is Crockett Elementary School. And this is in conjunction with the Department of Urban Education at UHD. Um, the students in the urban ed department are the pre-service teachers and they go into the classroom and they teach the elementary school students and one of the things that they're trying to teach more of is science and scientific investigation and that's where we come in. My students are kind of science experts as compared to the urban ed students. They know, you know, they're a little bit more familiar with the sciences and so they help the urban ed students design science projects for kids in uh, pre-K through five. And so they're relatively simple experiments. They're micro all microbiology based experiment and they go through the entire scientific method. So they do a hypothesis and they uh, come up with the scientific plan and they then help with the carrying out of the project as well. So the actual implementation of the project in the schools is done by Dr. Maria Paracharji's urban education students um, who are working in the classroom anyway. But my students are involved with, um, after the initial planning, they're involved with any kind of troubleshooting or um, how, how should the results be graphed, uh, presented, and any kind of um, other issues that come up during the semester with the project. My students do meet with the urban education students. They go visit the school so they have a better idea of what's going on in the school. Um, they're amazed at what these little kids can, can do. And so I think it, it serves a lot of purposes um, for, for my students. So they get to do service in the community, community outreach, and they get to apply what they're learning in the microbiology classroom. So it's, it works out really well for everybody. To me, service learning is a project that I'm doing with my students at the House of Tiny Treasures, a school for homeless children. I've been working there since 2006 with my students who are training to be teachers. Um, we learned from the House of Tiny Treasures that they needed help with monthly family meetings. And I said that I would put together family literacy events where the parents could be with their children and with my teacher candidates reading literature together and doing an, a response based activity that highlights some aspect of the book. So what I do is design, choose the books, design the response based activity and then work with my students about how to do an interactive read aloud and how to engage the families. It's really been an exciting project because we were able to serve the House of Tiny Treasures, engage with them, um, do some community-based research on the effect um, on my students of working with the parents, and then also on what the parents are doing naturally to in literacy events with their children. So all in all, it's, it's a service learning project that I'm hoping is benefiting a large group of people. Another thing that I'm doing, I did with Dr. Noelle Bazette Flores, and she is on a project with the Mayor's Initiative for Citizenship Month. She asked me if I could help her help middle school students write poetry about citizenry. So I chose poems and design curriculum to help middle school students consider themselves and as an aspect of the citizenry um, and to consider their own identity. The idea here was to empower them and create a sense of self-esteem as they worked on the poems. Uh, I think it was fairly successful and a number of students from several different middle schools were able to participate and we're hoping to expand upon that next year. I'm Dr. Noelle Bazette Flores, Executive Director for the Center for Public Service and Family Strengths. I'd like to thank Dr. Batacharji, Dr. Gulati, Dr. Crone and Dr. Van Horn for contributing to this video on service learning and community engagement and I hope that gives you a better understanding of how you can engage your community, engage your students, develop projects that are replicable and sustainable or possibly just for this semester but that provide students an opportunity to have curricular and co-curricular activities that 
really bring a richness to them, not just professionally, but academically. And then also you as faculty or staff get involved in community outreach and engagement that provides opportunities for others in the community to see what we have to offer here at the University of Houston downtown. I'm proud to be a part of community outreach and engagement and I encourage you all to contribute and learn more about what we're doing. We have a service learning and community engagement committee and uh, you can go to the College of Public Service site and go to the Center for Public Service and Family Strengths and learn more about some of the many projects that are happening here at UHD.